right, team. Um, we're in Linden, Virginia, and we are coming up on the Southern Railway Bridge, where the 12R derailment is should be close by. We got a high rail sitting here. Should be down that direction where the cars went out. There's some equipment up ahead. So got here. Ah. Wow. What's up everybody? Real fan Rowan here. Like I said, Linden, Virginia. We're gonna take a look and see what all shots we can get. I'm gonna take some walks. Um, the remainder of the train that was underailed, I saw it go by me eastbound, I guess maybe holding it at Manassas. Apparently this was not a long train. So, but uh, so far what we know is I believe, I uh, believe about 14 cars were derailed. One of the, I think five locomotives was on the ground. Those details will be confirmed and or denied momentarily as soon as I find out. Uh, but that's just the preliminary stuff. As you guys know with my derailment videos, some speculation can be expected here because we just don't know till we get there. But uh, I did see some, some prelim pictures. My buddy Daniel got some cool drone shots, so we'll figure out what's going on there in just here in a moment. Down this road is my boy Sammy. Sammy let us take a cool sh couple shots from his backyard one time, and I'm wondering if maybe we can get that same opportunity today, given that the derailment happened below his house. GP40-2 3018 and this 713 slug unit that's on the ground. All right, our first look at the Linden, Virginia derailment just outside of Front Royal, Virginia on the B line, Norfolk Southern B line at Signal Cody. See if we can get a better shot here in just a minute. We can see the uh, crane and the excavator being used in tandem to to lift that CEFX one. All right, so we can see that it would appear that this unit is on the ground too. I, it's hard to tell, usually you see the wheels there. Yeah, that looks like it's sitting on the ground. At least this half, this back half here is railed, it would appear. I see a wheel on the rail there, but not over here, that one as well as this one here is derailed. Crane Masters is here. They're a derailment specialist company. We saw them at Harper's Ferry. Their low boy trailer just went east on I-66. So I figured they'd be up here. But good heavens, look at this damage. Wow. Tore the rails up. Look at that mess. The rail cars look a lot worse. This one's off. This is what a derailed locomotive looks like. So look, this one's derailed too. This Dash 9 back here is turned on its side a little bit. They're all off the rails. It's amazing no one was hurt. My gosh. This is the time in life where I wish I had a drone. Yep. Uh-huh. Once again, thank you, Mr. Sammy. Appreciate it. We're going to take a look at these two derailed lead units up here, the Rebuild and the Dash 9. Oh, wow. Look at this. Well, there they are. 41.37 and 94.46. Hmm. <clears throat> Both derailed. Gosh, can you imagine how scary that must be? All locomotives were derailed in some way, shape, or form. So, I'll head on down the line and see what we can see. Here's the top of the hill view, a little better. This crane is moving a truck out. We can see the wheels being removed. Crane masters, derailment experts. Just gonna unchain it and go back for more. See that signal light right there? That's called Signal Cody up here in Northern Virginia. And that sits right at a, a control point where a switch in a track moves left and right. Considering it happened here, 
it could be likely that this train jumped that switch a little bit um, or that switch may not have been locked fully considering also that the lead locomotive is the first one in line and is also fully derailed uh, it appears that that might have happened um, this does not appear to be a string line as Harper's Ferry was mostly proven to be as well as Horseshoe Curve. This does not look like a string line to me. This is a very uh, well collapsed freight train accordion style. Um, if I get a hold of pictures I will share them from the aerial views um, but I am going to try and see if I can get up to here to get some sort of a view next. So just it goes to show you this can happen anytime, any place, and this can be fairly dangerous if you don't know what you're doing and you're not paying attention, okay? A lot of people don't pay attention. They don't realize that these things can kill you in a matter of an instant and a situation can change exactly that fast. It is so quick. Th that derailment could have happened realistically in a matter of 10, 15 seconds. Official black box data type stuff that comes off those locomotives will show that when it all came to a stop, when the investigation uh, is concluded. I don't know if the NTSB will do this one or if Norfolk Southern will conduct their own or both, but the investigation will prove it. But these things happen very quickly, so you gotta be very careful when you're trackside. You never know what can happen. Right, here's another view. Dump trucks in line with um, number three ballast to put back down to quickly repair this. They're, not only are they removing rail cars, this is what's called number three ballast. And this is like emergency ballast that they can order from a quarry like Vulcan Materials or a Luxstone. Luxstone is a local company in Virginia. And they'll order this real quick and just bring it right out. A little polite, humble request. And sometimes you'll get permission to see things that you might not otherwise see. Wow. Look at this view, y'all. You're seeing it for the first time like I am. That's incredible. We'll look at more detail here in just a minute. Look at this side. Wow. I don't know how many cars it is. I'm not really willing to guess right now, but let's take it some take a look at the details here. This one's just this one's upside down. Is that a center beam? It looks like a center beam car. All right. See that that pinhole right there? That's where the wheels go on this freight car. This one's upside down. Tracks just destroyed. Look at all the wheels laying around. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. Wheels buried in the ballast. More of the rail tore up. Wow. I've actually, I went to Harper's Ferry, but I never got to see the rail cars off the track and the damage that really was like, like first couple moments, first couple hours on scene. This is really something. To see millions of pounds worth of rail car toppled like feathers. Like that's how lightweight they look when they're sitting like this. That somebody could just, knock them over with a finger. It, it just really puts it in perspective how how forceful trains really are. Wow. Look at this. This is the center beam that was laying across the entire width of this entire gap in this hill. One center beam car. The end of that car is less than 30 feet from me. The whole car is probably 70 long. With this gondola pinned in, I mean, it's just a mess. My location is behind this fence that has had its section cut out of it. I am not trespassing on railroad property or interfering with any of the operations right now. Oh my. See this mast? The one over there is underneath of that rail car. So not only are they gonna need to replace the track, now they've got signal work to do. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Meanwhile, over here, these guys are attaching the hooks and the chains, pulling them taut. Good hook, they said. And this guy's gonna crawl off and get out of the way. Now this bucket is going to hold the center beam blue car back while the black car is moved. Yeah, watch him clamp down on this. Looks like he's pulling and it's, oh. Just gonna drag it away. They make it look so easy. Watch how this car is flexing when I see it. See it flexing down the middle? Points of contact, safety first. Gotta be very careful doing this work. And you gotta be strong with one hand to be able to wrestle them chains. Sorry, it's very difficult to hold the camera still for this long. So now we got two cranes working on two different cars at the same time over here, lifting the buried tanker. This one's now leaning on it a little bit. And this one is being moved off. Uh, I would look, it appears that they have a drop location down this hill, which I can't see. It's behind this center beam here. Uh, the yellow one is the, called the center beam, same as this blue one, same type of car. This one's loaded, this one's not. It appears that this one is setting this one up to be pulled out by that crane there um, to the drop location, is what it looks like to me. If it, I'm not mistaken, this dude is about to torch something on this car. Yes, he is. Let's move up the hill a little bit. Let's take a look. See if we get a better view of this guy torching. Hey. He's cutting these, uh, the pipes that are... Get on the other side! Get quick! It's gonna go that way! He's saying when it cuts, it's gonna go a different direction, so the welder torture needs to go to the other side. This is a trade, y'all. You gotta know how to do this stuff. Not only climb on equipment, but know how to use it. Yep, that's what I thought he was gonna cut. This beam here is holding on to this tank car. 
obviously that beam is not hold enough, strong enough to hold the tank car, but when it snaps, it can become dangerous. So they're gonna go ahead and cut it now. Look at that. really hot. It's hot enough that he needs an extender pole. See how long that torch is? That's hot. I got them both for free. This guy is helping walk back the line, the gas line. This crane, once these guys get back to safety, will go back to work. across the tracks right now. One bank on this side and then that side. Looks like they've got it secure enough. Wow. And here's the thing, you can't plan this. You can't plan how the rail cars derail. So when these guys show up, it's a puzzle every single day. It appears that this one was empty. There's no fuel spill concern. There's no hazmat team here. So this tanker must not have been a, a, a concern at all. Um, in the meantime, this rail car has been flipped fully on its upside down, whereas before it was not. I hope this video has shown you that this is a very serious industry um, and things can go wrong very quickly. So this is an example of what happens when about 10 to 15 rail cars derail. Um, and once again, this is in Linden, Virginia, just east of Front Royal, Virginia. Interstate 66 is about maybe a couple football fields that way. So it's not too far from a major highway. This could have been a lot worse. Um, there could have been hazmat involved. There could have been injuries. There could have been fatalities. Praise God that none of that happened today, that everybody on this, in this location was safe. So hopefully I'll be able to come back with another look at the further damage removal as well as the track replacement. I hope to get back out here. If I do shoot something, you guys know you'll get to see it. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn your notifications on so you don't miss a video. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram for more cool content at railfan underscore Rowan. From here in Linden, Virginia, be sure to stay safe. God bless and as always, happy foaming.